So I talk a lot about home labbing on this channel and um, just different Linux things and uh, I've talked about Plex and Jellyfin and I think a really important thing to talk about with that is, you know, a lot of people are running, you know, LiDAR, Sonar, Radar, um, all of those R's, um, there's Radar um, on their systems and they're probably using a VPN to do so, at least probably in the States. Um, so I wanted to kind of find a way to integrate that into my own network and find a more secure and more safe way to mitigate a lot of the risk that comes involved with a lot of those services, um, you know, primarily through torrenting. Um, so uh, first thing I did, of course, was I set up a WireGuard um, configuration, set that up on my the Raspberry Pi I'm running this on, um, and, you know, check my uh, IP address to make sure it wasn't my own. So we'd go right here, we do an ifconfig dot me. And we're actually gonna oop, have to do a curl on that. And we're gonna see, oh, okay, cool. My WireGuard setup, that's not my IP address. All good, right? Um, but I thought there was a better solution to this. So uh, clear that. Um, that's gonna be kind of where a script I wrote comes in. I think it's really useful um, if you are trying to keep yourself protected from your ISP and from your government for whatever you're doing on the internet. So I thought I would share that with you guys. So this is gonna be linked in the description. Um, this is in my bash repository I store on GitLab. Uh, but let's take a look at it, right? Let's go to Arn Halt is what it's called. Um, and you're gonna notice a few things. First thing off, um, I apologize about some of the colors, um, but this is running in Bash. I've got a Bash shebang for it. Probably will work in CSH, CSH, all of those, but um, not tested in those environments. And the first thing we're gonna do is do that curl command, right? So that's what I did on the other machine I just showed you to prove my VPN was working. Um, and we're gonna store that as a result. And then this is where it gets kind of interesting um, so again, I'm in the US um, and you're going to notice just about every uh, US IP address is going to come from RN. So they're the ones that kind of distribute IP addresses in the US. They've um, kind of restricted IPv4 addresses for use in the US and they show those out. Those go out to companies. Those companies then delegate them to companies and consumers, right? So my IP address does fall within one of these blocks. And the way this works is, you know, you've got uh, slash eight subnets on all of these. So if we look at this three one right here, that's going to be 3.0.0.0 forward slash eight. So pretty much from 3.0.0.0 to 3.255.255.255. That's going to be for all of these. So even again, with 199, it's going to be 199.x.x.x forward slash eight. So any of those IP addresses, that's probably a US IP address. Um, I personally run my VPN out in Europe, so I don't want my IP address to match one of these because that means there's a problem that occurred. And I was originally going to tailor this just to work with my current IP address um, for my ISP, but I am not on a static IP address, so it is subject to change. It doesn't really change all that often, but I just wanted to kind of add additional safeguards. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take that result and we're gonna store it as block one. So I'm gonna do a delimiter on the period, which is, you know, so uh, let's just say 215 dot x so i'm going to grab that 215 i'm going to store it as block one and that way we can know the slash eight sitter we're working with um, i've got an echo statement here that's really just for testing it's not going to really really work in a cron job which is how this is intended to run there definitely are multiple ways to run this um, so let me actually kind of show you how that's working so we do a cron tab flag e you're going to see i've got down here um, every minute every day or every hour every day every week of every month I am running cronscript.sh. So that's the way I currently have it configured. Um, you can definitely do it your own way. Um, I think a safer way to do it would be to do a, um, like a while loop would actually probably be a more secure way of doing things because that way the second it changes, you're able to uh, halt your system or do whatever you need to do. Um, but for me, uh, the level of risk I'm mitigating, I think one minute is gonna be a pretty safe cadence to work with. Um, again, that is not any form of advice. Please be very careful with this uh, and use it in a very safe way that you de deem is appropriate. And then we've got kind of a weird looking um, if statement here, but I just want to walk you through it. So this is pretty much just saying, is block one in RN? Um, absolutely had to look this up, um, but you're checking everything in RN, which again is that uh, array of uh, slash eight uh, subnets. And you're just gonna make sure that block one is uh, not in it. If it is in it, that's where we kind of go into this first statement. So what I have this system doing is it's gonna say IP is in the range, system is powered off. Uh, and then I'm also going to log the date and that's going to go into the home directory of cron log. I recommend you change that 
um, especially if you're running this as root, so you can easily see it from whatever user you often log in as. And then you're gonna have additional statements here as needed is what I put. For me, that's gonna be a system CTL, uh, disable Docker. Um, so all of my R systems run off of Docker. I think that's really common for most people. Um, so if that's how you're running things, you can disable it there. Um, and that way when you reboot the system, it doesn't start back up with you, again, not under your VPN and with your Docker services running. That's not something you want. And then I just do a simple power off, which we're you know, very easily able to add whatever additional commands you need in Bash right here um, to kind of solve that. And then finally, I just have an else statement here, which is going to echo the result, um, which is going to be that initial IP address to your home directory cron status again changes needed and that way you just know it's running you know you can look at it see when it was last modified uh see the ip address in there and just make sure everything's okay so pretty simple pretty cut and dry um again this will be linked um this is in one of my gitlab repositories so i'll put a link to that in the description but i think this is a really powerful script that can probably help you out and hopefully keep at least a few of you from getting you know uh anything from your isp so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one